by talking about Mark Emmert, who is one of Chris's favorite people. Oh, I hate this guy. The president of the NCAA. Here is the headline. NCAA President Mark Emmert tells schools to act on name, image, likeness, or he will. Which is really funny because he's had numerous opportunities to do this, and he has not done it. Uh, NCAA President Mark Emmert told the organization's more than 1,100 member schools Friday that he will seek temporary rules as early as July to ensure all athletes can be compensated for their celebrity with a host of state laws looming and congressional efforts seemingly stalled. In a memo obtained by the AP... Emmert urged members to pass legislation that would make it permissible for the first time for college athletes to earn money off their names, images, and likenesses. Okay. I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. Thoughts? You don't need legislation for this. If Mark Emmert gives you the blessing for schools to do this, why do you need a state legislation for this? So here is... um, can somebody explain that? No, no, no. So, so here's what ended up happening. Uh, the NCAA Division One Council meets Tuesday and Wednesday and could act on an NIL proposal that was expected to be voted on back in January. Uh, it says, instead, Emmert encouraged membership at that time back in January. And you remember this. We talked about yeah. this at the beginning of the year. Uh, he encouraged the membership to move forward on... No, 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 sorry. He asked them to put a, uh, a hold on the vote. This was after the Justice Department notified the NCAA that its proposed rule changes could violate antitrust law. Now, how it could violate antitrust law, I don't know. I'm not that in in the weeds on this. Uh, You're still not answering my question. Why do we need a law for schools to be allowed to pay these kids? Not the schools, for them to go get money on their own. So, Well, that's what I'm saying, is the Justice Department notified the NCAA back in January that its proposed rule changes regarding NIL could violate antitrust laws. I don't understand how that, the NIL stuff, could violate antitrust laws. Well, we don't know what the NCAA's proposed rule for NIL was, though. I'm going to guess. It it absolutely could have if it restricted certain things, if it put caps on how much they can make, if it it said they were going to take a cut. You don't know what it said. Here's the deal. Mark Emmert, just gave his blessing. Pay the kids yes. however you see fit. As long as the money doesn't come from the schools, anybody can pay them. Go get your sponsorship. If your state's passed the legislature, great. If it hadn't, who cares? Why do you need state legislator? If you're in the state of Louisiana and they haven't passed legislation yet, why can T-Bob not go out and say, my radio station is going to pay you to advertise and we're going to bring a player on a week and we're going to give them a thousand bucks a week every time we bring a player on. What What's stopping them? There's the, the only thing that was ever stopping them previously was the NCAA, right? Right. No, now there's nothing stopping them. You don't need legislation. You just need the grace of his highness to say, I'm not, but the problem is, is we need the NCAA to put this rule in writing because Mark Emmert, this is one of those situations where I'm going to tell you it's okay to do, but then if I want to pick and choose who I'm going to go after now, here's my other question. Are we going to Arizona? Arizona has a lot of violations for where kids got paid by Adidas, right? Yeah. Okay. They didn't get paid by the school. They got paid by Adidas. That all happened. You're in trouble for that, or are you not now? Because now it's illegally okay for Adidas to pay you. That is that is very interesting. I had not thought it, about it, that. It's the same argument that people make for legalizing marijuana. If I make marijuana legalized and you're in jail for only marijuana and nothing else. Are you going to be able just, to get out? Do you just get out of jail because you really didn't break a rule? I, I would say so. I mean, yeah. Here, here's Hang what on. Emmert wrote in that in that uh, uh, memo, by the way. Emmert wrote yep. that if NCAA rules uh, are not in place by July, he will take action. He said, I have directed my staff to create proposals to Is this that a end. threat? Is that a threat? A- <laughs> Please don't make me work. Please, guys. Y'all figure this out on your own because I'm so bad at it. I don't want to mess this up. Yeah, pretty He's much. He's threatening them to not let him do this. He said, I've directed my staff to create proposals to this end. We will provide more details next week as this approach is reviewed by the NCAA Board of Governors and the Divisional Governance Bodies. 
I'd, I'd start paying kids tomorrow. Yes. I'd start paying them tomorrow. I'd start going out and getting, I'd have these schools going out and getting these kids sponsorships tomorrow. And if anybody from the NCAA called me, I'd hold up this note from Mark Emmert and said, boom, this is my, this, this is Ron Swanson hand, handing you a piece of paper that says I can do what I want. Yes. Okay. This is handing, <laughs> this is handing somebody the bill of rights. All right. This is my good graces. It's funny that Mark Emmert is, uh, if you don't do it. I will. That's your job. Why haven't you just done it already? Yes. This is what we wanted from the very beginning with the NCAA. Like, do your job. Come up with some kind of a rule here. Now, obviously, the NCAA wants people. to uh, put some kind of limits on this as to who that's can That's the antitrust and who not. part. Right. And if that's, they do that, that's why that's it's going to get antitrust is because you can't tell... Uh, you know, one of the big stars, okay, that that they have a cap on what they can make. No, 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 that's that's antitrust violation. That's antitrust law. You got it. You you can't say that you can't make more than the next guy. If it's not a unionized agreement, then you can't put rules and stipulations on things like that. You're not allowed to do that. That those are and I, I'm gonna tell you the reason the federal government said if you pass this law, it's going to be an antitrust problem is because they were trying to do shit like that. Just get out of the way and let sponsorships pay these kids for their name, image, and likeness. Schools can still go get their money. Sponsors can go get th- these kids can go get their money and we're all going to be okay. Yes. We're all going to be okay. And let me tell you this, the athletic directors and school presidents are worried that they're not going to get, enough money because all the money's going to go to the, the directly to the kids. That's just not so there's going to be some people that are going to want the schools as a whole, as a sponsorship. They want to be on the billboard. They want to be the face of it because that sponsorship lasts forever. This kid is only going to, if you sponsor a basketball kid, he's going to be there for nine months. Congratulations. What's your money getting you? If I write a check to the school, it's going to be there all year. And that's, that that's the reason also it's still a risky thing to hand t- to let your business have the face of an individual especially when that individual is 18 to 21 because if you give it to the school the chances of the school having a Penn State problem or a Baylor problem that really gives you a you know a bad look uh as a sponsor and you don't want your name associated with it are slim the chances of handing that money to an 18 year old. And then a couple of weeks later or months later, you know, he just didn't arrested for, something. for you. Yeah. And then he's arrested for something horrible or gotten in some trouble. And now you look bad by retrospect. This is people are not going to stop giving to the schools. It's going to be a safer get. Yes. A hundred percent. No, you're, you're dead on. Uh, I'm, I'm curious how this is all going to go. I think next week I'm is gonna going to be this. a lot of fun. I'm going to tell you this. If I was Coach O, I'd start, I'd start going around LSU, Baton Rouge right now, the state of Louisiana right now, and I'd start selling advertisings for these kids. Tomorrow, I'd yes. start doing it. First thing Monday morning, I'm on the horn, and we're getting these guys paid. We're getting these guys sponsors, sponsors, uh, uh, sponsorships. Sponsorships. Yeah. And, and I am – and I'm just saying – we don't need state legislature. We don't need the government getting involved. We, no. if you, if you own a car dealership and you want, you know, Stingley to come by, Stingley going to charge $25,000. All right. Yeah. Now, if you want one of these offensive linemen to come by, you might get the whole offensive line for 10, you know, yeah. everybody gets to negotiate their own price. Now. I like it. I like it. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.